Hi, welcome to Videos from the Ville. I'm Professor Charles Greenewalt, and this is Government 241, Introduction to Public Administration. I'm very happy that you folks have enrolled in the class for this semester. Uh, we have to begin by acknowledging the abnormal state of affairs. We'd hope to have all of you back on campus this semester. Uh, and we're looking forward to the time when you can return. Um, since we cannot have a normal person-to-person, face-to-face classroom experience, we're going to do the best we can uh, with uh, distance education. Uh, I'm going to have uh, conduct this class in not in real time. I'm going to be developing, do, offering this in asynchronous uh, fashion. Uh, which means that um, I will be recording my lectures for you on video and they will be in YouTube for you to watch. Um, I uh, will also be sending you PowerPoints that accompany these particular um, videos, these lectures, and uh, I will be making myself available to you uh, through email, uh, charles.greenewalt at millersville.edu, uh, charles.greenewalt, that's G-R-E-E-N-A-W-A-L-T, uh, at millersville.edu. Uh, you can email me anytime, 24-7. Uh, uh, and then, of course, I want uh, you to uh, have my cell phone number as well. You can feel free to call me anytime, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. My cell phone number is 717 717- 222-9771. That's 717-222-9771. And as I said, you can call me anytime, Monday through Friday, uh, between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. I'm also going to have office hours or um, pay special attention to my phone uh, every day, Monday through Friday, 12 to 1. Okay? All right. Well, I'd like to go over the syllabus with you uh, today for public administration. Um, you find that uh, as far as my uh, contact information, uh, my uh, uh, office is in Fulton House. Uh, when we ever reopen as a university, I hope to see you at Fulton House. Uh, I'm in room 203 upstairs uh, in the middle of the hall. Uh, all of the professors' names are listed on the door. Uh, my uh, uh, I gave you my email address already, uh, and uh, my office phone, I guess, is irrelevant for this semester. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the course objectives. What do we hope to do uh, in public administration? Well, what's sad in um, government in many instances is that many of our um, public servants, whether it then be at the national level, although fewer there, at the state level, a little fewer there, and uh, and then at the uh, local level, um, are very poorly trained. Uh, they don't have a lot of background uh, in uh, public administration or public policy analysis. Uh, so, uh, in many instances, our governments don't work very well. What we hope to do in this particular class is familiarize you with many of the tools and techniques that are used in government so that uh, if you do go into the public service uh, that uh, you will be far better prepared than most of your peers and most of your colleagues. Uh, hopefully through this class you'll uh, learn how to do a true benefit cost analysis, you'll learn how to do program review, you'll know the different types of public personnel systems um, and so forth. So um, hopefully you'll be um, better prepared than most of your colleagues who want to go in to the, go on the same career path. Um, the requirements for the class are that uh, we are simply going to have two um, open book, untimed uh, essays uh, that uh, have no minimum or maximum length. Uh, you'll be receiving the uh, exams. Uh, and uh, you simply have to return them by the date and time that I list on the email, and you just return them to me by email. Um, so we'll have those two uh, exams, and you'll also be responsible for choosing a topic in public administration. And you can choose any topic you wish. I just uh, ask you to submit a topic 
for me to uh, consider uh, in the next two weeks. Um, I'd like it by, um, as I said, the third Monday of the semester. If you could please send me a proposed topic and I'll let you know if I approve or disapprove. But you can choose any topic at all in the realm of public administration. You can do a paper uh, on uh, public budgeting or maybe choose one form of public budgeting, such as zero-based budgeting, or line-item budgeting, or program budgeting, or performance budgeting. Uh, that would be uh, one example. You could choose um, leadership, for example, uh, is uh, another topic that you might want to take a look at. Uh, or you could do uh, a paper on organization theory, for example. But try to choose something that you would find interesting. Um, you can find uh, potential topics just by looking through your textbooks, and they will give you some idea uh, that uh, some ideas that might lead you to some topics that you want to examine further. Now, those papers must be typed, uh, double spaced. Um, they should be um, ten pages. Um, okay, they need to be done in the Chicago style. Okay. Uh, I want you to use the Chicago style of citation. That means that you need footnotes or endnotes, and I don't care which you use. I do not want to see internal citations. Um, the real world does not use internal citations. Uh, only academia does. So I'd like you to use endnotes or footnotes. I don't care which you use. But uh, So that paper should be in the Chicago style. All right. Well, all my lectures, as I said, will be on uh, my YouTube channel, and the YouTube link will be in your syllabus. Okay? So you can find it in there. I'm going to be asking that we use two textbooks that are uh, currently available in the student bookstore, and I'm sure on Amazon, and that is uh, one would be uh, John Rouse's The Craft of Public Administration, um, we want to um, use that as our main textbook. And uh, secondly, we want to look at Benjamin, uh, we, we want to look at, um, I'm sorry, Miller and North. We want to look at Miller and North, The Economics of Public Issues. Um, there will be another book that I will we'll be sending out as reading assignments in uh, quite a bit this semester, and that's Richard Stillman's Public Administration Concepts and Cases. So those are the reading, uh, reading materials that we'll be using. You'll want to focus on John Rouse, The Craft of Public Administration, and North and Miller, The Economics of Public Issues. Find that I hope to teach this class this semester uh, through the prism, uh, through the focus of uh, microeconomics. Uh, and that is the way that we'll be approaching all of our problems. You know, government tends to make decisions how? Either by uh, intuition, terrible idea to make decisions that involve perhaps billions of dollars as to on the basis of how your gut feels, uh, or they'll make decisions based on incremental incrementalism. Just take existing policy, tweak it a little bit one way or the other, and see if it works. Um, those are the two ways we make decisions, hopefully through... Um, benefit cost analysis, you'll uh, have a much better way of learning how to make decisions in government. Um, so that'll be our, our focus, and that's why the economics of public issues is such a good text to accompany uh, this course. They take some of the um, top issues in society today, and they examine them uh, through the uh, prism of microeconomics and say, what does microeconomics tell us? How should our public policy makers approach these problems? Okay? All right. Well, in addition to your textbooks, there's some other uh, resources that are available to you. Um, you can still find most of them online or perhaps in your community library or if you are on campus in the campus library. Um, you will want to take a look at City Journal. Uh, it's out of New York City. Uh, City Journal is one of the best publications currently for um, public affairs uh, and um, um, societal affairs and economics. But City Journal, Public Administration Review, is the Bible for public administration. It's been published over 100 years, uh, and it comes out every month. Public Administration Review, if you want to look through there, you'll find uh, perhaps good um, topic 
suggestions as well, or perhaps some of the um, uh, table of contents of those monthly journals will spur an idea on your part and regarding papers you might want to do. Uh, public interest, uh, public personnel management, public management, current municipal problems and governing, uh, which is available by you know, digitally now, are all good publications for uh, doing further um, research and examination of public administration. Now, in addition to your uh, textbooks and these journals that I've just mentioned, I'd like you also to uh, uh, take a look at uh, and be familiar with what's going on nationally. A good way to stay up with that, there are any number of ways, but take a look every day at the Drudge Report, and that would be useful to keep you up to date. And then when you need a good newspaper to stay up on national affairs, uh, maybe you'd want to take a look at the Wall Street Journal uh, first, perhaps the Washington Times, uh, perhaps the New York Post, uh, perhaps uh, Epoch uh, out of uh, uh, Washington, D.C., E-P-O-C-H. It's a uh, um, newly expanded and improved newspaper. Uh, these are all reading suggestions for you. Now your reading and examination schedule is broken down for you and your syllabus uh, on weeks. Um, your first week will be uh, taking a look at microeconomics. The second week we'll look at what is public administration. The third week we'll look at the scope and the purpose of public administration. The fourth week we'll be looking at the um, politics of administration and intergovernmental relations. The fifth week, we'll look at administrative responsibilities. The sixth week, policy making. The seventh week, we'll be looking at some case studies. Uh, we'll have our um, midterm on the eighth week. The ninth week, we'll be looking at leadership and communication. The tenth week, we'll be looking at uh, organizational structure, bureaucracy. The eleventh week, organizational design, reorganization, and organization theory. The um, 12th week, we'll be looking at decision making. The 13th week, public personnel and public sector labor relations. The 14th week, we'll look at program evaluation and policy analysis. The 14th week, we'll be looking at, the 15th week, I'm sorry, we'll be looking at budgeting. And then we'll take the um, university, um, um, the final during the university's uh, finals week. And that should get us through. You'll find the syllabus also contains a Title IX uh, statement for all of you to read. You'll find that as you um, go through the semester with me that we'll be behind the syllabus. Um, that's always true at the beginning of every my each one of my courses. Uh, I'm perhaps a, a little bit behind uh, the syllabus, but uh, eventually we always catch up. Uh, before the first exam, and I certainly will certainly do that in public administration as well. So I'm happy that you all are uh, with me for this semester. I look forward to talking with all of you and to emailing you, uh, and uh, hopefully we can meet person to person in the not too distant future. Um, as I said, feel free to call me anytime, nine to nine. I'm here uh, to help. Okay. All right. Well, here's hoping that we'll have a great semester and um, uh, good luck to us all. Okay. Bye-bye.